world, how you doing? Um, so what do you do about a compressor that when you check the compressor, the valves are, uh, the, it only uh, will pull down to 35 pounds pressure when you pump it down. Uh, the compressor will only go to 35 pounds pressure. Well, you sh should replace the compressor, right? But it's kind of working still for the customer. So what do you do? It's freezing up, obviously the evaporator is freezing up all the time because it just won't pull down and turn off, it never turns off. So, uh, what do you do when it's kind of still working and maybe the customer doesn't want to quite do it right away? Well, maybe you could do this. Uh, get rid of the pressure control. It was a pump down system. Just uh, crank, crank the knob all the way on the pump down system because uh, it never never will get to them so it never shuts the liquid line solenoid it just freezes up and throw a defrost clock in on it and then set the defrost clock like every four hours to defrost for 15 minutes and then an hour defrost in the, like four to five in the morning or in the middle of when they close. This is a bar slash restaurant. So, so they close like, you know, one or 12 or 12 or one on the weekends or whatever, and open it like 10 the next morning. So, so that's what I did. I just, uh, there's the pressure control down there. You could do this. Uh, just since it, this thing would take like every three days for them to have a problem where they really notice it, so you just throw in some defrost cycles, and you know maybe we'll last for a while longer. But compressor is definitely on its way out, so definitely ought to plan on doing it and try to get the customer to do it. So, but I get him working for a little while till he, uh, you know, till he does it. Well, I can uh, talk with him. He's not here right now. So, anyhow, uh, just thought I'd let you guys know that uh, you can use your uh, defrost clock kind of as like a temperature control. It's a beer beer cake thing, so it doesn't matter how cold it gets. So it only gets down to like 36 or something, 37. So uh, I'm thinking yeah, I'd have to throw up a screenshot. Oh, I wanted to show you guys also. This is how I do my. Uh, I connect them. Um, I defranken Franken to Frankenstein the other manifold. It quit on me, and so I moved some gauges over. So these are blister and fill, uh, nice nice gauges. Um, so I move these over, and uh, so this is how I hook up my I connect stuff when I want to go down and monitor stuff, and also monitor uh, analog sometimes and so I like doing it this way um, so that way I can go down and do things downstairs also but I also have I kind of like uh, the response time sometimes of the analogs and I'm kind of looking at the difference between the response time of the analogs versus the iConnect and I have to say the iConnect is uh, doesn't have any lag like the Testo 550, I have my Testo 557s and they kind of have some lag I noticed to digital. But these um, these are very fast. These, uh, that's I guess partly why they're so expensive. Um, but the response time on, you know, these responding and, and being, jiving with my analogs and everything, uh, they're right on the money. So uh, yeah, definitely, definitely worth it when you have to go downstairs and close the liquid line solenoid at a temperature control downstairs and you can have your iPhone right in front of you and you can tell what's going on on the roof so uh, it's very cool this is the way I do it uh, have my regular gauge hoses you know hooked up but before it gets to my manifold I have two little shorty uh, female by females this is just a regular quarter by quarter by quarter T uh, no Schraders in it so it's just a straight through T and why I have it on the branch because when you do purge out your hose, you kind of get everything 
you know, will rise out when you, you know, when you uh, do a purge out. I always purge out my uh, hoses, you know, just a little bit out the vacuum, so I can purge out my suction out, my high side out, you know, psh, you know, and then that way I can have my this part all sealed up still. Um, but yeah, this is my little outfit here. Um, uh, and uh, this is how I do the also the auxiliary power supply. This saves your batteries, so you can recharge these little. Uh, I get these in Ralphs. They're five bucks a piece, and they come with the little. Uh, this is a uh, Android, you know, charging style mini, whatever that side that type fitting is. So mini, mini whatever. But anyways, um, so that's how I do those, and I just use a wire tie around it. And uh, put another wire tire on the handle, and it's uh, works out pretty good. When I throw it in the you know case, I always unplug them because I don't want to bend bend that you know hole or anything. So I unplug those and just throw everything in uh, the NorCal refrigeration bag. Sometimes, or I'll go in this bag too, depending. And this daisy chain idea, uh, tried this out, guys. Uh, thanks. That's an awesome idea. That's how I'm doing it. It works awesome. It works freaking awesome. It definitely uh, takes the pain in the ass out of... Uh... So yeah, I daisy chained it, used the trash bag tie to hold it at different points and kind of working with it. But you kind of only really need to do it at the last point or, or whatever you want to do, you know? So I'm kind of trying out that idea. It's pretty cool. So actually, so I'm out of here. Uh, sun's starting to go down, so... Gotta button it up to get the hell out of here. I just thought I'd show you guys what you can do. And uh, some mic connect stuff here. Kinda, uh, so. All right, and I, uh, yep, that's it. And I uh, also bought one of these things for 10 bucks to charge your iPhone if you're using your iPhone a lot or your phone. These are 10 bucks. Uh, takes six hours to charge it, it says. It really doesn't take that long. You just charge it up. It's also a flashlight. You uh, press, it's got a thing on it. Got three lights. Got it in Ralph's too. Grocery store. Three lights means it's 75% full. It'll charge up your iPhone at least once or twice, you know. And uh, you just hold this button down and get the flashlight too. So you got a flashlight. Um, you know, there's a little flashlight. I mean, it's kind of a gimmick. I think the flashlight, but you never know. Could be coming handy. But Unplug it and you have a hold this down for three seconds and you got a flashlight that lasts for freaking forever with this pack on it. I guess that's ten bucks for this pack. Ralph's. Um, but anyways, gotta wrap it up. This is kinda how I'm doing it here. This is the place that I did this. Over here. Working out pretty bitching. I like how this unit worked out. Touch wood. Haven't had any problems with it. Um, so, touching wood here. Uh, so, here's some wood too. Anyways, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching guys. Thanks for the support. Almost to 4,000 viewers. 4,000 subs. And uh, thank you guys. Thank you everybody for uh, uh, checking out my uh, vids. Alright, uh, take care. Thank you. Take care. Bye.